The Alamax B biliary stent system is comprised of a low-profile triaxial delivery system and a non-foreshortening stent. There are two deployment triggers. The first trigger deploys half of the stent. The second trigger deploys the remainder of the stent. The handle has two saline flush ports. The rear port is used to flush the guide wire lumen. The side port is used to flush the stent. A stabilizing sheath extends from the handle. This sheath should be lightly grasped at the opening of the working channel for the duration of deployment to stabilize stent position and to eliminate catheter jumping. Position the scope at the bile duct and deploy a guide wire. Flush both ports with sterile saline. The stent should be flushed until a single drop of solution is visible at the end of the catheter. Advance the catheter over the wire. Position the stent using the radio OPEG markers. Visible markers include the tip of the catheter, the deployment marker at the end of the retractable sheath, and the distal stent marker. It is important that the elevator not be used with excessive force as this can damage the stent and catheter. Center the stricture along the length of the stent body using the deployment marker and distal stent marker. The stabilizing sheath is then grasped to stabilize the catheter in the stent position while the elevator is released. The first trigger on the handle is slowly actuated to begin stent deployment. The outer sheath of the catheter will retract as the stent is deployed. A radio opaque marker at the end of the sheath will indicate the relative amount of stent deployment as the markers at the tip and the distal stent remain stationary. If distal repositioning is necessary, retract the catheter slowly. Radio opaque beads at the first proximal ring of the stent will now be visible. The second trigger is then slowly actuated while continuing to grasp the stabilizing sheath to ensure precise deployment. The catheter and wire are retracted.